here's a very small demo for my uh, Motoman MX100 uh, welding robot controller. It's using the Motoman's uh, MX100 provided HDTP port 80 socket, uh, FD parameter when it's enabled, or FD parameters and RS parameters when they are all in enabled and there's an IP address and everything set. Then you can take a socket connection and they have a documentation how it works. And here is very small Python app that is using that HTTP port and taking a socket connection there. Uh, it can uh, at the moment run only single commands at a time. There is a possibility for multiple commands, but I haven't done that yet because it's just a demo. Uh, what else this is doing is that it will create a to the port 8080 in the host computer here. It will create a web server and that web server is serving small website or web page uh, which has few f uh, commands as a demo purpose so if i run it like this uh, at the robot side i have my emergency stop of course taken off otherwise it doesn't work anyways when it's on uh, web page looks very like this very simple bootstrap page uh, there is no auto refresh for details yet but uh, at the moment when I reload the page, it just shows the current information, like what's the mode at the moment. I have set it a remote mode, and it can uh, play uh, some jobs I can show. And in this demo, I can just uh, move uh, the, the uh, S axis, which is just moving. Well, you can see so in front video what, what moves. But anyways, and what I can do here is like put hold on, Nothing super interesting here, but this is more interesting. You can put a servo power on. And now in the video sound, you can hear that the robot has a power and take it off. And again, on, and then I can see my current job. I have this kind of job called Pöta. And it will close the, the, basically the drawer. You can see it in the video soon. And I can start a job. You can see from mobile video now. Okay, and that was the last position of this this job. Then as a demo, I can just use this so-called yog mode, but this is only doing this linear movement, basically in one position, nothing. I mean, just incrementing this S-axis. So it is just linearly moving in one way. And Basically, that's it about this demo at the moment. So maybe few, soon in the future can use like Xbox controller or something like that, control or other Python libraries. But that is the actual goal of this. But anyway, already this was working and it's, uh, it's uh, meant to be a video in a GitHub uh, repository readme, just showing that it's possible and looks to be working fine.